this first time I come to this conference. This is the second edition. Okay, the, the, the subject is very interesting. The, the, what are the, the uh, how can I use this uh, swap source of CT in practical in every day? So the, the, the subject is very, very interesting. Let's say not a component, but it's multimodal function. Mm -hmm. This is why I, I decided to, to buy it, uh, to buy the Topcon uh, treatment device. The component, let's say, um, of course, because of uh, its uh, first time uh, OCT and geography, and secondly, because it used swap source, so short, short uh, wavelength, wavelength light, so better penetration. So let's say, on, because we, we have an OCT and geography, and secondly, because it's a swap source device. It's 1,000. I'm working in a private practice mm -hmm. where a group of like, seven ophthalmologists, so, and we have this device. This is why we perform, let's say, 10, uh, 10 OCT and geography a day. I mean, this is interesting because we already compared patient having ST OCT to uh, surf source OCT in case of medias opacities like cataract. And we found that the images are better. So we can uh, analyze better the structure of the retina and the cord. And this is inter in, in important, very important, especially when you should perform cataract surgery. For example, patient with AMD, with a dry AMD and cataract surgery. I remember the case of the lady she was uh, okay, more than 80 years old, and all of the ophthalmologists told her it's not interesting to, do, to perform cataract because your, your, your macula is not well. When we, we perform a, a swap source OCT, we saw that in some, in some places of its macula, there were good uh, uh, photoreceptors. And so we told her that, okay, we, we perform the surgery and the vision improved. So, uh, uh, because the swap so, because the quality of the swap source of the geography, uh, the images are better and we can give better uh, prognosis to the patient. The quality of the image is not uh, uh, it's better and you can uh, you can see uh, better the legend because the the, the quality is, is much better, the image is better. I really it's changed our uh, way to to practice, especially uh, with Triton. We have in one screen when in, when we perform positron geography, we have superficial superficial plexus, the um, the deep plexus, the outer retinal plexus, and the curry capillaries, and then we have the on B, we have the on fast OCT. And you have a retinography, with retinography, color retinography, or we have, we can choose autofluorescence. Now having all this in one screen, you can really assess the degree of the lesion of its macula of patient, rather in age macular degeneration or in a diabetic macular edema, which are the most frequent lesion of the macula. Okay, and we we can assess the the pathology. And then we can also um, uh, uh, can follow follow the patient, mm -hmm. and we can give a prog prognosis. For example, in uh, macular uh, diabetic macular edema, we have a diabetic macular edema, and we can say to the patient, say to the patient, we will do a perform injection, anti VHF injection. Your vision will improve or not, depending on what we see. And very often, I, I choose in emphasis of city in the same screen, the emphasis of city of the ellipsoid. So I have I have in one screen a lot of information, and this is really representative of what we say in this uh, new medicine uh, multimodality. I get I think that really Triton represent the definition of multimodality. Of 
circles. This is interesting because we ha we go deeper, and so we see better. We can go till the sclera, and a lot of pathology started in in the core. So uh, with swept swept surge OCC, we can assess the choroidal uh, vascular network, the choriocapillar, the, the and and below, and and so. Uh, with when when we combine angio OCT angio, uh, OCT angiography with swaps of OCT, we go deeper and certainly we we can better analyze uh, uh, the pathology. If if I ask you in any way, if you want to see something deeper, it's better. Why why just uh, assess something superficially? It goes deeper through the tissues and we discover something. I remember a, a, a woman, uh, a, 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 a young woman with uh, diabetes, the retina was very good, but the, there was a pathology in the choroid. In fact, this woman had a high blood uh, pressure. And because we saw in the OCT angiography, thanks to the swab source, the, the pathology at the level of the choroid, so we, we asked her to go to the cardiologist uh, specialist and discover high blood pressure. If, if you had just the choice of using a device who, who can penetrate the, the, the tissues and having better visions of uh, deep, deep tissues, why not using, why, why not using it? I, I, I think it's uh, logically. Most, let's say, uh, statistically speaking, uh, AMD and diabetic retinopathy is the most two statistically very important pathology we say we we saw every day. I, I think the, the the best way the impact is about the prognosis. The prognosis we can say to the patient, okay, we can treat you. Your pathology, cataract, anti VGF, retinal surgery, and you can tell him your vision, your vision would will certainly improve. Thanks to the quality of the image we get uh, through treatment device. This is a very important thing. I'm working in private in private practice, so patient would pay. The, the 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 treatment and uh, it can be sometimes expensive so it's very interesting to tell him and you tell him that okay we'll take this strategy and we'll have results and this is what I really feel this is the, during the three four months I can tell to the patient okay we can take care of your pathology and we'll have, we'll get the results and this is the, quite uh, interesting. I, I guess that pathology of inter interior segment is interesting. Okay, till now we don't have uh, the angiography of the interior segment, of the conjunctiva of the iris. Could be very interesting. And also, uh, I perform uh, glaucoma surgery. And really, I, I can say that using this device, we can assess uh, the filtration surgery, not in, let's say not in geography, but swept source OCT. Through the conjunctiva and the sclera, we can have a lot of, uh, per perhaps we can have information about the quality of the surgery and, uh, and we can uh, as, ex uh, have more explanation how, how it works, how the filtration surgery works. Perhaps there was a, a trans, uh, trans uh, conjunctival filtration or through the uh, supracoroidal space. Because the uh, swept source of as, uh, as mentioned, is a very, uh, we can go deeper. So perhaps uh, the device, uh, the, perhaps the researcher can, can improve the device in the interior segment, which is uh, interesting.
hopefully I have uh, the treatment plus in uh, so uh, the device performs itself but also uh, the fluorescent angiography and I, even the ICG angiography and to uh, honestly in four months I didn't uh, use uh, the fluorescent angiography personally I hate fluorescent angiography because you should inject the device uh, the dye in the blood of the patient and very often the patient uh, feel vomiting reflex and you can and you have to catch good pictures uh, early mm -hmm. and sometimes patient cannot cooperate so per perhaps yes in future we would not uh, use uh, at all fluorescent angiography I certainly will learn a very interesting thing today and tomorrow and uh, perhaps I, I, when I come back I'll use uh, uh, my device differently.